Hey guys, what's up? It is Gabriella. Obviously, somebody is missing, and that is Bianca, if you can tell. For those of y'all that are new to our channel, welcome. Bianca is actually in therapy right now because she has scoliosis, and it's kind of like a week-long therapy that she does once a year. She's not in any pain, so no need to worry about that. It's just something that helps her spine improve a little bit more. I probably could have explained that a little bit better, but that was just off the top of my head, and... I don't really <laughs> care to go into detail. She's doing great, she's not in any pain, but she's not gonna be in this video. However, she will be in next week's videos, so. We're good there. <laughs> I was thinking of like different ideas to do because I was like, wow, I literally like, I, what am I gonna do for our YouTube channel if it's just me? We're just gonna roll with the punches and do a little like chatty, get ready with me video. Disclaimer, this is not a makeup tutorial. I feel like at least compared to Bianca, she's more of the makeup, like, I don't wanna say guru because she's not a makeup guru, but she is better at makeup than I am. So I'll give that to her. So I figured I would do like a, hey, I have to put on makeup today, why don't I just film it and show all of YouTube? So yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we're gonna have a like casual, uh, random, conversation about probably absolutely nothing. I don't know, but we'll see what happens. This is the look that I am going for, so keep watching to see how I achieve this look. It's really not that hard, but anyways, <laughs> this is a super long intro. Let's get into the video. All right, so I feel so out of my element right now. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off with some primer, yes. That's the primer that I use. I use drugstore primer because it's so much less expensive and you know, it gets the job done. So I'm just gonna here, here, and there. And then I'm just going to rub it in. I feel like if my eyes are not properly primed, then my whole makeup look is just, ugh, you know? So I'm gonna start with some concealer. I use two kinds of concealers because this one is way too dark and this one is way too light. I just kind of mix the two. All right, so currently I'm the only one in the house right now because Ronnie goes to school like a normal teenager. Bianca, as you guys know, is in therapy for her back and my parents went to like a doctor's appointment or running some errands or something. So I'm home alone talking to a camera. Um, at 10.30 in the morning, so yeah, what a life I have. I literally haven't worked out in like almost two weeks, it's like so bad, because I was working out and I like pulled a hamstring or something. I don't know what I did, but I woke up the next morning and the back of my hamstring was absolutely killing me. Oh my gosh, I have something in my eye. Hey guys, Gabriella on the voiceover here, yeah. Maybe it was all that makeup I literally just threw in my face. Now I know why I spend so much money on makeup every single month. I woke up the next morning and my hamstring, that's my dog, uh, my hamstring was absolutely killing me. Like, oh, my parents are home. They're gonna think it's so weird that I'm just talking to nobody. I'm literally never gonna finish the story about my hamstring. It was killing me so bad that I couldn't even walk down the stairs. Like I was, <laughs> I was hopping down the stairs. I literally thought I tore, no, I thought I like pulled like a tendon or a ligament. I don't really understand how like muscles and like all that stuff works. So it felt like I pulled something other than a muscle. Long story short, I was just overreacting like any 20 year old girl would and it was just a muscle. Lately, I've been so lazy with makeup. I literally wear like no makeup anymore. Got a smile to get those cheekbones, yes. All right, I'm gonna go shut my bedroom door because my parents are gonna think I'm so weird just like talking, so hang on. Hey, I just wanna let you know I'm filming, so if you hear me talking to myself, that's why. Yeah, I've literally been using like no makeup. I mean, I put makeup on, but it's not like a lot. I've just been, ugh, I'm so lazy. Like if I'm not going anywhere, like why even put anything on, you know? I don't know, it's like a, mid midlife crisis i guess but i don't really know all right so i just bought this tartlet in bloom palette and i know i showed you all this in one of our favorites videos i actually like 
love it so much. Like I have so many makeup palettes and this one's my favorite. And I didn't think I would like this one as much because it's all like nude colors and that's more like, I like more oranges. So I don't know, I was surprised that I liked it. And there's some that are like really sparkly on it. And I thought I would actually use those, but I really don't use them that much. So I don't really know why I like this palette. So I think the key with like eyeshadows is to get it all on your brush and then just tap it all off, you know? And then you wonder why I spend so much money on makeup, like, cause I use so much, but like I use none at the same time, you know? Yeah, I literally spend so much money on makeup. It's so bad. I don't really consider myself like that amazing at it. Like Bianca's good at makeup. Me? I'm okay. Like I'm decent. I can get by with like a lot of things, but I can't create like certain looks. Like I actually hate using eyeliner because it just looks so weird on me. And then I can't do liquid eyeliner. I don't know. I feel like all girls can do liquid eyeliner and like the cat eye and stuff, but like I can't. So I don't really know what's wrong with me. All right, so I have a story for you guys. I was, wow, it's hard to talk and do this at the same time. A couple nights ago, I was getting ready to go to bed. Bianca and I share a room and our fan is so incredibly loud. I mean, it doesn't really phase me, but like ugh, Bianca's like, oh my gosh, how can you fall asleep with this fan? And I'm like, Bianca, it's literally like not even that big of a deal. Um, and she's like, oh my gosh. So literally before we go to bed, like I'll turn the fan on high because I really like sleeping with like long like pants and like a long t-shirt and then put the fan on high and like curl up in my like covers and stuff, you know? That's just like so comfortable to me. So like I put the fan on high and then we like turn the lights out and literally not even like five minutes after we turn off the lights, she's like, how can you stand that noise? I'm like, what noise? She's like, the fan. Like how can you even fall asleep with that on? And I'm like, Bianca, honestly, I didn't even notice it until you said something. And she's like, oh my gosh. So she stands up and she like fixes our fan. You have to like adjust it so that it doesn't make this like squeaking noise. Like it is so, it's actually really bad. But like I can sleep with it, I don't know. So anyway, my story is a couple nights ago, it was so, so windy outside. And wait, what am I doing? Oh, it was so windy outside and it was like, 11 30 at night and like for those of y'all that like know me i am not one to go to sleep like super super late like honestly for me like 9 30 <laughs> is late enough i need my sleep so 11 30 is like on the later side for me so you would imagine i was like pretty tired and you'd think i'd go right to sleep well <laughs> wrong i was up until like one o'clock in the morning because okay so there's this giant window over there and right outside that giant window we have like three palm trees and the branches haven't been cut in like i would say like half a year so they're like super long and they scratch against our window and i was like bianca how did you even sleep last night she's like what do you even mean i'm like it was so windy like I literally left my room and slept in our music room. Like I had to move music equipment. Like I was basically sleeping on guitar cases there. Oh no, I've been filming for way too long. My light, my light goes off after 25 minutes. <laughs> I've obviously been here too long. Do y'all say mascara or mascara? Cause I say mascara, Bianca says mascara, but our friend was like, what are you saying? And I'm like, mascara. And she's like, it's mascara. So is it? mascara or mascara. I just bought an eyelash curler like a month ago. I've never used one before. I just saw like a bunch of makeup gurus. Like I see that they use them and I'm like, well, if they use them, I obviously need to use them too. I have noticed a difference in my lashes, but I don't think it's worth like $20, <laughs> which is what I paid for this. There was absolutely no point to that. I don't think I'm really doing this right because I always get my lower lashes. And then I always pinch my like top lid. Like, okay, I got some of my lower lash. And then I feel like this just looks kind of freaky. I don't know, does it? <laughs> yeah, I think it does. <laughs> I have been off of caffeine for almost six weeks now because I gave it up for Lent and it's almost Easter. And I'm looking forward to that cup of coffee Easter morning. I'm really looking forward to it. It's gonna be good okay the mirror is way too far for me to do this and i am not that talented at putting on mascara 
mascara, mascara, whatever. I also recently switched to this Maybelline Lash Sensational. Actually, I only switched to it because they were out of the one I always use, which is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. It looks like this. Honestly, for drugstore mascara, mascara, mascara. I think this one is like my favorite. Like I just love this one. This one, mm, not so much, but you know what? That was the only one they had. That was waterproof because I use waterproof because I cry a lot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. It is the worst thing in the world getting mascara, mascara, mascara on your lid because it's like you spend so much time on Wow, that's a terrible angle. That is so hideous. Yeah, you spend like so much time like making this look, like creating this look, and then you just like mess it up. Sometimes I <laughs> sometimes I forget to blink and my eyes get way too watery and then I literally start crying. See, I told y'all I cry. That's why I use waterproof mascara. Mascara, whatever. And then I go back with a second coat because I kind of like more a Ave. What the heck was I trying to say? I like more of a, I'm gonna say thicker lash, but that's not really what I mean because I, I don't really like that spidery look, although that does kind of happen sometimes because my lashes are too dang long in the front. So when I put mascara, mascara, mascara on, they just kind of like spider out. So that's not on purpose, but I do like more of a bolder, look okay so the movie midnight sun with bella thorne is coming out tomorrow and i want to see it so bad i don't know it just looks so good but bianca's like that's the dumbest movie i've ever like that's the dumbest trailer ever i don't want to see the movie like are you kidding me so i was like ronnie you want to go see the movie with me and of course ronnie doesn't want to and so i'm like okay that's sad i'm just gonna go see that movie midnight sun by my lonesome self because no one wants to see it with me oh my gosh I hate when I get mascara anywhere else other than the lashes. Literally the other day, me and my mom went makeup shopping at Ulta and my mom went to go exchange. Oh my gosh, I got it, I got it in my hair. Wow, that's a first, that is actually a first. My mom had to exchange some foundation that was too dark and no, it was too light. And so she went up to one of the girls there and her makeup was absolutely flawless. And I'm over here with this look, like, wow, how embarrassing. She went to the girl and she was like, hey, I need a different shade. And the girl was like, oh, what shade are you? And my mom's like, oh, I don't know, but I have the bottle like with me. And so the girl looked at the bottle and she's like, oh yeah, you're like a 2.1. So you probably need a 2.2. <laughs> my mom's like, um, does that mean darker? And she's like, yeah, so like the higher the number, the darker it is. I'm like, oh. See, when it comes to makeup, I just understand like <laughs> pale, beige, medium beige, dark, super dark. You know, that makes sense. I don't understand 2.0, 3.1, 5.5. Like what are numbers? I don't get it. I just realized you don't put highlighter like above the like blush. You put it like like almost where your concealer goes i don't know i just like one day bianca was like yeah you put it like way too low like i was putting it right here like on my cheekbone she's like it goes right above the cheekbone i'm like oh i'm shook i did not know that's how you did that and then i kind of go over it again because i really i really like a nice glow you know all right well we have made it to the end of this video Thank God, because I was actually talking about nothing. I don't think I've ever talked about nothing to absolutely nobody for, I think I was filming for like 30 minutes, so <laughs> that's new. So this is the finished look and cue makeup montage now. Was busy thinking about boys. My goodness, that's so embarrassing. I forgot. Lip gloss. I absolutely love this lip gloss. I think it's so pretty. See? Isn't it so pretty? All right. Cue real makeup montage now. Was busy thinking about boys. All right, 
Well, I'm gonna finish this video before it gets any worse. If you guys made it to this point in the video, congratulations. I applaud you. I have no idea why you kept watching, but thank you guys so much. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and never forget to subscribe. Bianca will be in our next video. I will see you next week. Bye. I'm reckless when I'm with you. I'm careless on what to do. And I need you here, so come back to me. Wait, should we try switching sides? Let's try it. Because when we sing live, I'm on this side. I know. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I like this that. so much better. There's so much room.